Halo semuanya, selamat datang di channel saya Paper Stories. Cornelius van Drebbelt was born in Alkmaar in 1572 in the Netherlands. He was the inventor of the first submarine that embodied the design of Leonardo da Vinci. After several years of schooling at Alkmaar, around 1590, he then attended school in Harlem, which is also in the north of the Netherlands. Teachers at the academy were Hendrik Galtzius, sculptor, painter and humanist, Carl van Mander, painter, writer, humanist and Cornelis Corneliusen from Harlem. Drebbel became a skilled sculptor and in 1595 he married Sophia Jans de Tergaltzius, Hendrik's sister and had four children. In 1600, Drebbel was in Middelburg where he built a fountain at Neuwarder Port. He met Hans Lippers High who was the telescope's constructor and a colleague of Zacharias Jansen. Around 1604 the Drebbels then moved to England probably at the invitation of the new king, James I of England, Vi of Scotland. Drebbel also works in court. In 1610 Drebbel and his family were invited to come to the court of Emperor Rudolf II in Prague. After Rudolf's death in 1612, Drebbel returned to London. Unfortunately his patron Prince Henry died and Drebbel was in financial trouble. Initially, the sketcher of the submarine was Leonardo da Vinci, 1452-1519, while William Bourne designed the plans for the ship, 1578. However, it was Cornelius van Drebbel who succeeded in building it in 1620. At first, he only saw the sketches made by his two friends. Then, slowly van Drebbel tried to realize the sketch which he thought was unique. The standard of construction still uses Bourne's sketch, namely, using the principle that the ship can sink when the tank is filled with water. If the ship is to be raised to the surface, the water tank is emptied first. Then, Van Drebbel tried to apply Archimedes' law by using oars as propulsion. Not quite there, Van Drebbel continues to upgrade his homemade submarine especially in terms of design by forming it like the arrangement of two boats and covered with leather. The paddle holes are made more adhesive so that water does not enter. Van Drebbel did not use a ballast system, but tried with iron to make the boat easier to dive. The submarine became the oldest submarine, because, the body is still made of animal skins and wooden frames. Van Drebbel also wrapped the bottom of the boat with waterproof material and the boat oars with leather. Van Drebbel added an air tube to provide oxygen. His first trip was with 12 oarsmen on the Thames. In these trials, the ship managed to dive as deep as 360 to 450 centimeters under the River Thames, London, for two to three hours. The final model made by Van Drebbel had six oars and could accommodate 16 passengers. The vessel can dive for three hours and sail up to 12 to 15 feet, 4 5 meters, below the surface of the water. The track starts at Westminster to Greenwich and round trip. The submarine, which looks like a cigar shape, is made hydrodynamic. According to Van Drebbel, Hydrodynamics can reduce drag when sinking, so the ship can sink smoothly. Currently, the Van Drebbel's invention of submarines is being developed for military purposes, especially as war submarines. This is actually far from what Drebbel wanted when he first made a submarine. He didn't want his submarine to be a killing tool, 